Hey friends, Allison here dropping in to share with you a new page in my October daily album. This is page or day two and it is a case of the Mondays. I am scrapping in my PJs today. As soon as my kids left for school, I went down to my craft room and got to playing because that's what I needed to do. And so yes, I'm in my pajamas and even though I am scrapbooking fall, I'm in my festive winter pajamas because you need the best of both worlds sometimes. <laughs> so the page that I'm working on today is a page about reading. And I took a snapshot of one of the picture of one of the books that I had picked up from the library and read in the month of October. I printed it at three by eight inches so that it covers half of the page. This page is going inside of a page protector. I had originally thought of doing a two page spread with one full sized photo, like a six by eight inch photo. Um, but because I needed to use the backside of the page protector that's already in the album, I tweaked my plan a little bit and turned it into one page. So that photo is six by three by eight inches, pardon me. And it is being layered over top of the stamped background that I created on my white cardstock. I stamped that with a uh, close to my heart stamp and also close to my heart ink. I used pewter. After I got it stamped, I realized it may be a bit too dark to print my journaling over top of. So to get around that, I decided to pull out a piece of vellum and print my journaling on that. I wasn't sure if this was going to work. I had never printed on vellum and quite honestly was sitting in my office chair with my fingers crossed as it was printing, hoping that it would work out and it did. Um, it didn't need any drying time at all. I continued playing as soon as it printed. The ink didn't smudge and it was perfect. I'll definitely do this again. I really liked the idea of the vellum because it would kind of um, soften the darkness of the ink grid in the background, making the journaling easier to read. So I was just showing you a close up of that. I glued it onto the layout base and then put the photo over top of it. And now I'm working on my title. So I die cut my title with my Cricut just from white cardstock. It is the word shh because as you know, when you go to the library, you've got to be quiet. Or if you're sitting at home and want to just veg for a little bit with your book, you need quiet as well. <laughs> so that's where the title came from. I also die cut books. I was so excited to have found this image in my Cricut image library. I cut it twice um, just to fill up the bottom third, I guess sixth, if you want to say, if you divide the layout into quadrants it would be the last sixth anyways I'm getting too technical um they are going down at the bottom of the left hand side of the page beneath my journaling there we go much easier and I used uh photo plays crafting with my nomies to decorate the books now I had wanted to add some sort of stamping or phrase stickers onto the spines of the books but I had nothing small enough and no phrases that would really technically work as book titles. So I left them plain. I could have added little icons like hearts or stars or something like that to decorate them, but the patterns in them are bright and bold enough. I just decided to leave them as they were. That pretty well brings me to the end of this page. Actually, not even pretty well. I am done. It came together super quickly. It was a lot of fun to put together. The stamping was a little tricky because um, the stamp was not, it's six inches and a little too short to do it on the vertical. Um, but I managed to make it work. I was quite happy with myself. Um, and really liked the grid for the background as well. I do have close-ups coming up, so feel free to stick around for that. Um, 
And if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and a like. If you would like to get your hands on Crafting with My Nomies, um, I'll have to double check, but you can find it at Scrapbook Nerd. Um, it may still be in the shop, so if you really like photo play, definitely check them out for more photo play products. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I will be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Bye, friends.